Hey everybody, this is my Surefire C2 Centurion flashlight. Um, it's now out of production, it's been out of production for a while. You can't really find brand new ones anywhere anymore. But on, on eBay, there's a bunch of them for sale, and there's uh, reproduction ones that aren't actually Surefires, but they're other brands. Um, I bought this knife about seven or eight months ago to use on duty, and as a DDC delight, um, takes two, one, two, three batteries. Um, it can't take an 18650 unless you mill it out, but, um, I find the 186, uh, their 123s actually last quite a long time, especially since I've put an LED in it. Uh, originally came with an incandescent light. Um, runtime on this was pretty short, definitely under an hour. Uh, it was only about 60 lumens, but it, it shoots pretty far with it, but obviously LED technology is a lot better. Um, in it, I have the uh, Malkoff M61, I believe it is. Um, it's about 265 lumens, runtime 2 plus hours. Um, currently, right now, I work uh, about 2 or 3 times in, a week, most of the time at night. Uh, I use it about 10 minutes a night. Uh, I, I haven't changed the batteries in it in 2 months, probably. Um, so. The runtime is definitely over two hours on the slate, even though it's cited at about two hours. Um, I feel like it's really unnecessary to have rechargeable batteries in it unless you're using it for a full two or three hours a night. Um, I also added a uh, crenellated strike bezel on it from overready.com. Um, it had uh, just a flat plastic bezel, and it didn't really protect the uh, metal around the head, so I wanted something that would protect it and also serve a purpose. So I got the strike bezel, just screws right on. Um, reason why I went with this light is because it's a little bit bigger and beefier than some other lights on the market. Uh, it had a pocket clip that's a big selling point to me. It's a pretty good pocket clip, although the flashlight sticks out of your pocket a lot. It also gives you a lot to grab onto to remove it. Um, you've got your um, flat spots here so the light doesn't roll. Um, you have a, a square body tube that allows you to comfortably hold it in a cigar hold like this uh, with the rubber ring. Um, tail cap, the switch is uh, pretty unique. I like it. It's pretty much foolproof. Push for momentary on, you twist far enough, you get a lockout, and you twist all the way, you get full on. Um, I like that. Some people may not like it, but I feel like it's... Uh, pretty safe to say it's not going to break. Like I said, I got the LED, so it's about 265 lumens. Uh, the Malkoff is really nice drop-in. It's got a really nice light, nice white light, very smooth. Um, there's really no spots, no rings, no nothing. And I'll show you what the Malkoff looks like. Um, this is a very beefy light, so, it, you know, you can tell it's not going to break in your hand. If you drop it or anything, it feels very solid and mock off drop in really continues with that. It's all brass. Um, nice drop in. It's sealed in epoxy, so if you drop it, it's not going to break or anything. And you can see compared to the uh, Surefire drop in, it definitely looks a lot more solidly built. Um, definitely worth the investment. Um, overall, I'm very satisfied with the light. It's a great light. Uh, I've had zero problems with it. I really like it. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.